I don't know when it was decided that we needed an official song of the summer, but some time ago that happened. It's something we need now. Last summer belonged to I Love It by Icona Pop Feet. Charlie XCX, until Blurred Lines had stolen it by Labor Day. Miley Cyrus Party in the USA was a song of the summer a few years back. To be song of the summer, the criteria is simple, it needs to be beyond catchy, everyone needs to know the words, and it has to be played so often that it gets seared into your brain. The song was also important because it was Swift's first release of her post-country career as a pop artist. Yes, that was actually a hook with this album. Swift is no longer a country singer. She is now a pop singer. It doesn't matter that Swift hasn't released a country song in years. This was important. It is a song for the summer for a summer that didn't really have a song. Swift went pop, and pop fans will reward her. It's not a track that inspires insanity like I Love It or Party in the USA, but it's enough to get people dancing.